Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I've just finished my face shave literally two seconds ago. I'm now doing my head shave and I'm going to be using the exact same setup as the face shave, which will be genuine Ogallala Bay Rum with sweet orange. And it smells and lathers and just performs superbly well up there with the best artisans. It's really great and it's in a stick form so you can take it anywhere with you on holiday and things. It's a little bit easier to travel with. Push it up, pop it back down and away you go. So let's wet the head. Post shave feels just great with that thing with the Humphreys. I'm really, really impressed with it. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit out like that and then just rub it all over my head. I've got just over a day's growth. I've just finished watching the Manchester United LA Galaxy game on TV, which was good. It's nice to see a bit of football back again. I do get withdrawal symptoms <laughs> when the Premier League finishes. And all the football is done for the year. Right, that'll do it. I'm just going to take that a little bit of crap there. Fix my little viewing mirror in the back there, which is great. And then I'm going to use the wolf whiskers again, which is already loaded up from my previous fit with my face shave, which I just did. So I'm just going to sort of paint on what's on the brush. And then I'm going to start lathering, head lathering. Just trying to mix in the, the soap from the brush onto my head. And then we'll dip the tips and start building the lather. I'm expecting this to grow quite massively because I've put quite a bit of soap on my head, including the lather that was in the brush, which was loads. I'm expecting a good lather from this. the tips every now and then just once it stops growing and you can see it and feel it you feel that the, the brush is doing the same thing over and over again the lather's not building up in clumps anyway so it just needs another dip this is a very thirsty soap it will take a lot of water before you can actually sort of damage it or take it beyond repair Kyle over at Brown Man Shaves, he has been pointing at me to use the gem on a head shave, which I am going to now. He reckons it's one of the best head shaves he's ever had, and I don't doubt it, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be super smooth, hopefully as efficient as it is on the head. This lather is absolutely gorgeous. It really is a tremendous lather. I think it might be a little bit dry, but we'll see. We'll see how it shaves. Look at that. Right, I'm just going to grab another bleed. Because the blade that's in here, I'm just solely going to use for head sh uh, face shaving, just to see how many shaves I can get out of it. And I'll mark this one up with an H for head shaving. So it's a twisted open razor, as you can see, it's in really good condition it's a little bit wet and dirty at the moment from my face shave all you do is get the blade you pop it in it's hard to sort of do it and show on the camera at the same time you want to pop it in and there's two little lugs down the bottom and all you do is just slot it into the little lugs that's it and then as this goes down once it gets to pretty much that point you see it slide down the blade there you go and that actually pushes the blade down and locks it in place so here we go, I'm just going to go straight against the grain with this because these are so smooth. I've only got a day's growth and let's just see how she goes. feel it cutting the hair but that's pretty much BBS <laughs> it's a very very impressive like I said before in the face shave the angle in this razor 
is key to make it smooth. You want to sort of have it so it's almost flat, so that part of that there is almost flat on your head or on your skin, on your face, wherever you're shaving at the time. The lather itself is so thick and it's, it's obviously quite an oily lather. There is a lot of oils in there, palm oil, coconut oil. Because I use cold water for most of my shaves, it, does, it doesn't really wash off the razor very well. As you can see under there, still caked in lather. But because of the style of the razor, it doesn't actually affect it. So smooth. It doesn't seem to be getting quite as close against the green on the back on the first pass as I would imagine but it's doing a very good job. It is a totally different feel. Different angle. I'm not used to having See, as you can see, where the blade is, the way I've got it angled on my head, it's slightly different to use. So you just got to bear in mind, when you're on the back, to keep that angle going as best you can. But smooth. Smooth with a capital smooth. That's how good this razor is. I never feel with it that I'm going to cut myself, I really don't. Those famous last words, of course. I've got a couple of little weepers floating about. I think I'll probably have a few on the back as well. I have. I've got a few little weepers on the back. But new angle on the razor, something I've not really done before in a head shave. It's, you have to adapt to things when you do something different. So I'm not expecting perfection on the first shave. What I can expect and what I will get is a very close BBS shave. Got a little bit of irritation, I can feel it, but I am finding it a little bit hard on the back with the angle. 
trying to get there. But other than that, so far, pretty good. I don't think it helps that the lather is so thick. It probably needs to be dialed down a little bit for me. And as you can see, I mean, that's, this is just globs and globs of lather. That's something I can't do with a QE razor. I managed to go right around my whole head there, pretty much the whole lot, without dipping the razor. Because of the way the flow works, it goes through and underneath here, it doesn't seem to clog the blade up. The blade's just, you can just keep using it. And from looking in the mirror, I think I've got that one little, I think that might even have closed up. I've definitely got a little bit of irritation, I can feel it. But for a first time head shave, with this razor, I'm pretty impressed. I'm just going to give my head a bit of a rinse. I might even just use the residual slickness because there's loads of it. I'll use a bit of that soap there just to finish it off. That is BBS everywhere. A little bit of rotation.
But the irritation that I've got is mainly technique based. It's not the soap, it's not the razor or the blade or anything like that. It's mainly my technique on using that type of razor. As you can, I mean, I've got a few, there's definitely a few little spots of blood in the back there, but they'll dry up. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of warm water through my brush before I chuck my Humphreys witch hazel on just to clean some of this off because it does, like I said before, it does stick to everything, this soap really does. So, good splash of the Humphreys citrus, which gives a nice burn. It really helps in the healing of the skin. Yeah, I can feel the burn already. It is a nice burn, it's not a, an uncomfortable burn. I'll get the uncomfortable burn when I put the Nivea 2 phase on because I've definitely got some irritation on my head. I've actually got a tiny little bit on my face, but like I say, it's all learning for me, learning a new angle of the razor, how it actually works, the best way to get the best out of it. But for a vintage razor, these are a different class. And if I'm honest, I don't even have the feel that I want to go and buy a modern version of this because this works so well. If the modern versions are better than this, then they'll be the best razors in the world, in my opinion, based on what I've learned from using this. I've used quite a lot of razors now, expensive, cheap, middle of the range, aggressive, mild, efficient, not efficient. I've used that many razors now. This here is the smoothest razor I've ever used. It's also extremely efficient. So it's top, top notch, in my opinion, given its age and how they were designed back then. So yeah, I've got a little weeper there. Couple just over here. I'll tell you what I might do since I'm running way ahead of time as I normally do. I'm just going to go with the Allen block just to help peel the skin a little bit. It'll take the sting and it'll take the nip out of the alcohol when I put it on as well. So I'm just going to wet it. I know it's kind of productive doing it after the days, uh, after the Humphreys, but I can always put Humphreys on after again just to help thing the skin. Right, I'll wet the block. And here we go. A bit of feedback there, a bit of feedback there, Whew, loads of feedback on the back. There's been a few people asking about Allen blocks. What's the best brand to get? What's the, the best one to get? Now, I haven't used an Osmo block, but from speaking with people that I know on Facebook and stuff, they say the Osmo is really smooth, smooth edges all round. Now, this one here. Super smooth on this side and crystallized on this side. I don't know whether you can see it. So, this side here is really rough on your skin, this side is super smooth. So, from what I hear, the super smooth would be pretty much what an Osmo block is all the way around. Well, surprisingly. Not much feedback on my face. None on my chin at all, which is good. That's usually where I get the irritation if I get any. Just dry that off a little bit before I put it to the side. And then we'll rinse it all off now. shave face and head today I've really really enjoyed it this razor is really giving me great joy when I'm shaving I'm really enjoying it I know I keep saying it over and over again but it's brilliant okay I'm just going to pop this all over again and then we can talk about what's used for the shave while it's drying in and then I can finish off with the Nivea 2 face the scent on this is lovely as well it's probably my favorite scented Humphreys yeah really really nice blend of citrus and with the Humphreys, it's not the best tasting, but I can taste the witch hazel, which is good. It's got a higher, in my opinion, concentration of witch hazel in it. I'm not sure when you actually read it, it doesn't actually tell you how much witch hazel's in there in terms of compared to all the other ingredients, but 
it's definitely got more wood chisel than Thayer's because you can taste it and smell it. But this one is probably the most masked scent in my opinion, the Humphreys Citrus. It's definitely Humphreys best scent in my opinion. Okay, so I'm just going to start rinsing my brush out while I'm talking. Genuine Ogallala Bay Rum and Sweet Orange. Let us say, this stick doesn't last very long. I mean, I've used loads of that there just for a face and head shave. So in that terms, it's not great for that, but I'm, I think I'm totally overloading it. So next time I use it, I might just use it sparingly and just see how I go. Because it's cheap, but if I'm going through that much per shave, it's not economical. So it's a bit like buying a Kai blade, which only does two shaves. It's not really worth it to me. soap out there in two sort of scrubs, two washes. I'm just gonna clean out the brush a bit, dry off the tips. And there we go. So the brush was the custom wolf whiskers in Peter Wolf's lime. And there it is, absolutely gorgeous. A lot of people don't like these knots. I can sort of understand why, but I love it. It just looks so precise. And because it's synthetic, it doesn't move about too much. You don't get the, the bloom that you get from natural fibres. It will bloom a little bit because the fibres will wear a little bit, but nothing like a natural brush. But I just think it looks superb. The colour on it as well is just incredible. It really pops. The razor, as I've already been through, the gem, silver, bullet point, and it's a twist it open. In excellent condition. It wasn't cheap, but it's an excellent razor. I really, really enjoyed using this. It's super smooth, super efficient. Moved on to Humphrey Citrus. I then moved on to my Razor Rock Allen Block. And then back to Humphrey Citrus. And I'm going to finish off today. It should be, yeah, that's bone dry. Oh, what a smooth. Do you know something, my face, even my, my face feels pretty BBS, if I'm honest, for what I, the way I shave, I don't go against the grain much. I've gone against the grain at an angle sort of year. This is all BBS here. My face feels great, around my lips is great. Oh, what a shave. Nivea Too Faced, you can see it's sort of about to, about to join together there. Just give it a bit of a shake. And that's it. Have a good splash of this. Splash it everywhere. Feel the burn. And then go and enjoy the rest of the day. I say feel the burn, I haven't got any burn at all, but that is largely due to the Humphreys. Just got a little bit of hair there. And that is it, that is it, completely BBS on my head. Wow. It's the best double shave I've had. One after another, two shaves. Outstanding, outstanding shaves. From the soap to the razors to the brush to the post shave to everything, just amazing. The little razors blew me away, if I'm completely honest with you. It's, it's really opened my eyes up to other avenues in shaving. Probably the worst thing is it's opened my eyes up to different razors as well. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Pretty quick shave for a head shave for me. I managed to fit a little bit extra and a little bit more work on it. And yeah, stay safe. Drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.